Hey, this is Alex, the creator of Politics and War. In this quick video, I'm just going to talk about, uh, well, address this question. I can't make oil drills uh, and talk about the resource distribution in the game and how that works. So in the game, uh, if we go back here, uh, we've got 11 resources. Uh, there's coal, oil, and uranium. These are all energy producing resources, uh, and typically you use them to make power in your cities. Uh, then we've got lead, iron, bauxite. Uh, these are all raw resources um, that you use to manufacture into the refined resources, which are gasoline, munitions, steel, and aluminum. And then we have food, which you need to feed your people. So uh, how this all works, and, and there are some extra pieces, for example, uh, it's not just iron that you use to make steel, it requires iron and coal. Um, oil gets refined into gasoline. Uh, uranium doesn't get refined into anything, but it gets used for nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons. Uh, lead gets refined into munitions, and bauxite gets refined into aluminum. So that's how all of that works. Uh, now, every continent has access to food, uh, and then you get um, some distribution of the other raw resources. So, for example, every continent will either have coal or oil. Uh, these are kind of... Uh, alternative options for power plants starting out. You can build a coal power plant or you can build an oil power plant. Um, oil's a little bit cleaner than coal, but it's also a little bit more expensive. Uh, but if you're just starting out, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then you'll have the option for either uranium or lead. Uh, and then you have the option for iron or bauxite. Um, and I guess when I say option, you don't necessarily have the option. That's just kind of how the original six continents in the game were set up. At some point, we did add, add in Antarctica as a choice, uh, which works a little bit differently. But um, in the beginning, that's how it was. You had coal or oil, uranium or lead, uh, and iron or bauxite. And each of the six continents uh, had you know some combination of those. And we can actually look at it and see those. If you go to Edit Your Nation, so if you go on the left-hand sidebar or mobile menu under Nation, if you go to Edit, uh, and then you go to Edit Nation Map here, you will be able to see uh, a little chart that breaks down the resources. So uh, if we exclude Antarctica, which is a little bit different, you can see that uh, you know Africa has oil, but not coal. Asia has oil, but not coal. Australia has coal, but not oil. Europe has coal, but not oil. North America has coal, but not oil. South America has oil, but not coal. And so on for the next sets of these resources. So uh, it's exactly how I just described. Antarctica is the exception. It has oil, coal, and uranium, uh, just to give it something different than the other continents. Um, I would never advise that somebody put their nation in Antarctica. You get a food production penalty uh, permanent. And, uh, you know, I guess it's possible, depending on what the market is doing, that these three resources could be more advantageous than others. But um, it's just kind of a, a bonus fun thing. It's not really something that I would recommend for uh, anybody trying to optimize things uh, for efficiency and, and play competitively. So um, that's how that resource breakdown works. So this question, I can't make oil drills, or in the game they're called oil wells. Well, if you're not in Africa, Antarctica, Asia, or South America, you won't be able to do that. Instead of oil, what you're gonna have is coal um, as an option, and, and vice versa with iron, bauxite, lead, and uranium. So you can change your location. Uh, that's what this page is under the nation edit. Uh, edit nation map, you can move your nation to a different continent and have access to a different set of resources. Um, and, and that's kind of why this graph or this chart is on this same page. Um, and, you know, alliances might recommend different things for you, uh, but the economy in the game is entirely player driven uh, by supply and demand. And so um, the price that each of these resources goes for uh, is just going to fluctuate based on supply, how many people are producing them and how much they're producing, uh, and demand, how much uh, each resource is in demand. So um, that's how the game's operated for almost 10 years now, and we've never had you know any total market failures. Sometimes people do some some fun and crazy things like try to buy up you know all the coal and then sell it back to everybody else at uh, a much higher price than it was before or something like that, um, which is, you know, can make for fun events. It usually doesn't work. Um, but anyway, that's how that works. That's why uh, you can't build oil wells if you're uh, in Australia, Europe, or North America. 
and um, that just adds to the fun of the gameplay that you can't produce everything yourself. Uh, part of the game is negotiating trades, uh, and you don't really even have to negotiate. You can just go to the trade page, and you can pick any resource you want. You know, if you can't produce oil, you can buy it for generally pretty cheap. So, um, yeah. That's kind of the explainer on that. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any more questions, let me know and I'll keep making more videos.